Tonight we're not going to be fixing anything, we're going to be talking about geometry. Geometry, a bit of a hot topic when it comes to mountain biking because it can make or break a bike and kind of defines what a bike is for, from cross country to downhill and enduro and trail in between. Lots of different theories and ideas going on and lots of different terms floating around in there. So we're going to break it down and we're going to talk about one in particular tonight. We're going to talk about steering geometry and trail. We're not talking about that kind of trail, we're talking about fork trail. Fork trail will define whether the steering of a bike feels lively and nimble and quick handling to almost twitchy to slow and sluggish and needing a lot of input from you as the rider to initiate turns. Trail will also define how a bike will handle in turns as well as how stable it feels in a straight fast line. Now trail is altered by two things. The first is the head angle which is the geometry number we're most familiar with. Put simply, the head angle is an imaginary line through the centre of the head tube to the ground. This is measured from the horizontal in. 68, 69 would be considered kind of cross country and kind of a more old school geometry. Downhill bikes are in the low 60s, 63, 62 even in some extreme cases. Trail bikes in the 67 degrees kind of range and enduro from 64, 65, 66. Now this number coupled with the fork offset is what gives us our trail. Now I'm going to have some fancy graphics. Your fork offset is the distance between the imaginary line through the centre of the steerer to the centre of the hub axis. Back from fancy graphics. And that offset is created by offsetting the dropouts and by putting a subtle bend in the crown. Now altering those, this number and the head angle will adjust the trail. And the trail is the distance if you take your head angle to the ground and draw a straight line vertically down to the ground from your hub axis, the distance between those two, that is your trail. I think of these three elements as a triangle with trail as the base. If we affect either the head angle or the offset, we're going to affect how wide that base is. Remember my tea this time. A shorter offset or a slacker head angle is going to result in a longer or more trail. This is going to give you that slower, lazier steering but greater stability. A longer offset or a steeper head angle will do the opposite. It's going to decrease trail and will give you a nimbler, more lighter steering bike but one that doesn't have the same stability, especially in straight line descents. Now, the best way to increase your trail whilst also increasing that confidence is with head angles. You can't beat a slack head angle for confidence in your descents. We can fine tune with the fork offset, but there's nothing that beats that slacker head angle. Now, that isn't to say that the offset doesn't dramatically change how your handling is going to feel. And Basically the holy grail is to have that slack head angle and a short offset. The slack head angle is going to mean the fork is going to be pointing down the hill in a more of a straight line into obstacles as you hit, as you go downhill. But bringing that hub back is going to give you that lighter handling. But that is what's going to make your bike feel really, really good going downhill. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, remember to subscribe here and give us a like down here. Also in the comments let us know what you'd like us to fix next in the shed or if there's any other questions about geometry or other parts of the bike that you'd like us to go over as well. Remember the tea this time. <laughs>